this week I'm going to show you how you can totally transform fake plastic furniture. what I started with. It's a plastic piece of furniture from a French provincial set. These materials can be tough to get the paint to stick to, but Amy Howard has no problem sticking to plastic furniture. Plastic looking furniture. <laughs> it's not real plastic, it's like looking plastic. I did sand this part a little bit because it was chipping and that's not good. You have to sand those areas. Then I remove the hardware to get it ready for cleaning. I did clean this piece first with some water and then with Amy Howard's clean slate. Then I started with Pulver Pink as my color. Because Amy Howard has essential oils, when you open the can it might not look like the color you chose. Just give it a good mix and everything will come together. This color was beautiful and went on so easy. But at this point, I realized that I wanted something different for this piece. After I was done with this coat, I decided to do some color mixing. I grabbed the Palmer Pink along with Windsor and Table for One. Windsor is a brown color and Table for One is a very bright pink color. Basically brown and hot pink. I started with Palmer Pink and added some brown to it. Mix that for a while and added some hot pink to it. I was just playing with the colors. With enough playing around, I ended up with this color. This is much closer to what I imagined for this piece. What a yummy color. I really love it. It's such a nice shade of pink, kind of purplish, but so classy and sophisticated. I added two coats of this color for full coverage and let it dry completely. I want 
decided to create some stripes on the two bottom drawers for some extra French feel. It was time for bullet white. To do this, I use painter's tape. I love to use this green one. That's my favorite one. Like, it's a really good one. I just eyeballed it as usual and use tape to space it out in between. This worked out just fine and it works out every single time. Now I grabbed some ballet white and this triangle brush and started painting. I'm not worried about going right up to the edge. I'm going to blend those edges later on. I don't want crisp lines. I want like faded look. You will see. Bad luck, bad day. What should I do? used a small detail brush to paint the details of the piece. This part takes some patience to get in close to the edge. Just go, take your time and just go slowly. these detail brushes sent to me by one of you. Those brushes worked great and I was able to get in even close with them. the second coat on my stripes and then I removed the tape. To blend the stripes in with the rest of the dresser, we're going to make sure our stripes are completely dry. To speed up the process, I use a blow dryer. Now to blend the stripes, I use the color we used earlier as a base color. You won't need much for this, so go light. This is just to give that faded look, faded feeling, like... I don't know, I like faded stripes. <laughs> to age the piece even more, we're going to use dust of ages. It's going to need something to grab onto and for that we will use Mind Your Own Beeswax. Mm. 
What you want to do is apply wax everywhere you want the dust to go. I'm doing it on the corners and details and stripes. I want stripes H2. Just grab a little and make sure to tap some extra dust off. Then brush it everywhere you want it to go. some paper towel with some wax to spread and remove while it's still wet. If you want to remove anything unwanted dust of ages, make sure you do that immediately. Once it gets dry, you will have a really hard time removing it. Now I repeated this process on the rest of the dresser. I also did the same thing to the hardware. Now that that's finally done, we can add final touch. I'm going to use this mica powder for a touch of gold. Did you think this dresser gonna end up with no gold? <laughs> Again, we will use wax, but this time we'll mix it with the mica powder. Can we be friends again? I give up. I know how this ends. Might sound strange, but I'd give my life for you. Nothing's changed. Just ran away from I feel like mixing mica powder with beeswax. It's like creating your own gilding wax. It's fun. The then I added some on the hardware. Back where we started. Gone full circle again. But that's what we do. And then the details. I'm 
I'm going for that old faded look, so I'm not covering everything perfect. That was your turn, I guess. Let's you can use your finger or a small detail brush for this part. I also went over it with some wax on a paper towel for more fading. Now it was time for my new hardware. And this is so glam, like such a glam. wants to like we and it was done and it was looking fabulous and cute and sophisticated and French and what else you want from one plastic piece of furniture <laughs> I did a pretty good job I think It's come a long way from looking like a cheap plastic furniture. Just look at what it was before and what it's now. A beauty, a candy. This reminds me of a cotton candy. It's so yummy. What do you guys think? Will you ever look at the plastic fake looking furniture the same knowing you can paint it? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> thank you Amy Howard for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a thumbs up leave a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already I will see you next time with a new project and more ideas bye 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 bye